Good morning, everybody. Dear President of uh, Tel Aviv University, Professor Yossi Klafter, Dean of Exec Science, Professor Yoron Oz, distinguished guests, friends, and colleagues, welcome to the 2013 Sackler Prize in Physical Sciences Symposium. About a year ago, we've been asked to identify rapidly expanding areas of modern organic chemistry that are, that are, that are fueled by the creativity of uh, the younger scientists. It was not easy to point to one such field out of many, but eventually we propose the CH bond functionalization in organic synthesis as the topic for this year, a uh, Sackler Prize in the Physical Sciences. We were not disappointed as we receive a, a large number of nomination of very talented and yet already established young chemists. This activity clearly shows extremely high regard that scientists around the world have uh, for the Sackler Prize in Physical Sciences. Although many deserving candidates were nominated for this prize, the committee's decision regarding the winners was a quick and unanimous. Professor Melanie Sanford from Michigan University that is currently is on her flight from Paris here uh, due to bad weather uh, in uh, New York. She will be uh, arriving uh, shortly after lunch. And Professor Jin Kwan Yu uh, from the Scripps Research uh, Institute are by far the most creative and uh, authoritative figures in the area of CH bond functionalization in synthetic organic chemistry. We are glad that Jean and later Melanie will be here today in Tel Aviv University to accept uh, the, this prize. It was very easy for us to find uh, all the excellent speakers for our one day symposium. They all agree to present uh, their talks on the, the moment they knew uh, who was awarded the Sackler Prize this year. We received enormous interest from chemists, both from the academia and industry who came here today. I promise you that this hall will be uh, overbooked uh, very shortly. I have no doubt uh, that this interest is due to the quality of the speakers and the importance of, the area, of this research area in Israel and in the world. I would like to thank all of you for coming. I'm sure that uh, you are going to enjoy our symposium and of course, we greatly appreciate the contribution uh, gener generosity of the Sackler family to make uh, this uh, possible uh, meeting uh, as uh, it is now. I would like to invite the president of Tel Aviv University, Professor Yossi Klafter, to say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, prize laureate, yes, in single. Uh, welcome to the uh, award ceremony of the Raymond Beverly Sackler uh, Prize in Physical Sciences this year in the field of chemistry. I'm really delighted to be here in this ceremony that celebrates uh, excellence in uh, scientific achievements and this year in the more specific uh, area of uh, functionalization of carbon uh, hydrogen bond in organic synthesis. The idea behind the Sackler Prize was to recognize outstanding achievement and still potential. Uh, so it's given to uh, scientists in a relatively young age, and it has a combination of a reward and encouragement. Dr. Sackler, uh, is a, I would say, a patron of the sciences and a, a major benefactor of Tel Aviv University, looked for a way to combine these two passions, science global-wise and uh, Tel Aviv University. And his idea was to uh, establish this prize, and so when he brings the laureates here, uh, they, he exposes or helps to expose uh, what they achieved in the world uh, uh, to the students here at Tel Aviv University and develops exchange with faculty members here and to exchange, in exchange, to uh, expose the science done here to the laureates from uh, abroad. Uh, Dr. Sackler uh, donates actually worldwide. Uh, there is a, a Sackler Institute at Harvard, Berkeley, Columbia, Yale, Leiden, Cambridge, Toronto. And his idea is to encourage cooperation between Tel Aviv University and all these uh, uh, institutions, uh, universities abroad. Uh, very recently, 
uh, he established two funded cooperations, one between astrophysics at Tel Aviv University and uh, uh, Harvard Smithsonian, and next week, or in two weeks, we'll establish Tel Aviv University, UC Berkeley, a cooperation, again funded by uh, Beverly and uh, Raymond Sackler, and this is a five-year program with about $100,000 per year in order to uh, fuel the exchange, travel, and, and so on. Here on campus, the Sackler family, uh, family's name is spread all over. The Faculty of Medicine is called after the Sackler family. The Institute of Advanced Studies is called after the Sackler brothers, actually. The faculty we are now sitting in is the Sackler Faculty of Exact Sciences. Chemistry is, by the way, uh, a school of chemistry named after Sackler. Uh, prizes and so on. He's a really major, major uh, uh, donor. And actually, he also follows uh, the, the life path afterwards of the laureates. So you might even hear from him, and, and it's uh, very good. So uh, uh, I'm very delighted to have another year of a Sackler Prize. Actually, next year, it will be in physics because the Sackler Prize in physical sciences alternates between physics and chemistry. So again, congratulations for the prize, and uh, we'll, of course, uh, let Sackler know about the event, and uh, all the best. Uh, the next one, uh, Professor Yaronos, please uh, say your words. Good morning. <coughs> So uh, the, the Sackler Prize is a young prize, relatively young prize, but it's actually already a very prestigious uh, prize, quoted all over uh, the world. In fact, one of our uh, laureates already received the Nobel Prize. Uh, very few years afterwards, that was for the discovery that the universe is accelerating, Adam Rees, and uh, so we hope for the best for you as well. Uh, it is true that uh, Ray, Dr. Uh, Dr. Raymond Sackler follows uh, the career. We receive from time to time emails. He wants to see where you are standing, how close you are to your Nobel Prize. So he will uh, follow. Uh, in a short while we are going to be in the a meeting with, in the Board of Governors and um, we are going to talk about one thing. There is a question, what is, in, what is the thing that uh, differentiates scientists? You know, many people are smart. Everybody who comes here was you know, the smartest kid in the kindergarten, in the village, but what makes the difference? And I think uh, the common answer to that will be not that the guy is smarter or the female smarter than the others, he is more creative. In fact, the scientists who actually made it, uh, we take an example, Albert Einstein, everybody knows he's a genius, but why is he a genius? He's a genius not because he was smarter than anybody else, he because he was more creative. He had much greater imagination. So I'm sure that uh, the work uh, for which you have been awarded required a lot of imagination and creativity, and this is what distinguishes you from the others, and uh, I wish you all the best in your career. Uh, since one of the recipients is uh, still not here, we are going to have two ceremonies. One is going to occur now, Jean is going to get the, the certificate and the uh, prize, and we are going to have a second ceremony uh, in the afternoon. Uh, but only one check, uh, Jean. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, I will talk about uh, Jean uh, later when I will present him in the afternoon on his talk. I just want to say a couple of words now. Jean has an amazing uh, life story. He was born to be a farmer, and I will explain this later. And the uh, a child that was born to be a farmer turned, uh, turned to a scientist and uh, a leading scientist, uh, as you will all see later. Uh, meanwhile, let's, uh, let me show you. So, this year we have a special certificate, uh, specially designed by the engineer of Tel Aviv University. It can stand on the table, and you can <laughs> uh, feel you didn't get such a fancy certificate when you got the prize. It is. Uh, and uh, I'm welcoming Yossi to, no, to give him the prize. Okay. 
תודה רבה לכולם. אוקיי, אני עוזב. 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 Arrange everything and work, but we'll start immediately uh, the uh, plan of the program. <laughs>